Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be picking up right where we left off the last video where I was in a short position over here on Bitcoin and I was explaining why I was in a short and looking for lower which was $19,000. Since that we've got a bounce to the upside, I've compounded this short to now bring it to $4 million total position size, currently sat in $100,000 unrealized profit with realized around $29,000 profit. With the nice funding rate, happy to remain in this and I'm going to explain what I'm looking for next over the rest of this week to come. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you want to know what I'm doing next with this trade, pay full attention because I will be giving away those answers in this video. So without further said ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what you're here for. That's the technical analysis. That's the most important levels. And well, let's just pick up right where we left off that last video where we were in. I'm going to try and slow it down, keep this one slow, professional and understandable. So we were trading uh, around here right on Friday and I was saying I'm looking for lower my big important support level is $19,000 okay well in the end what happened next we continue to go down we continue to go down we continue to go down then Saturday night uh, we obviously hit a low and of course I always give my levels and updates first inside the champions group that's fair right that's you know that's where the people are paying for the mentorship and I actually found this really nice uh, downward sloping parallel channel over on the 15th, gave it to my group. And what happened? Well, we had this really nice, well, we had a lot of confluence, let's just say. Okay, so I found that before we hit the low. So before we hit the low of $19,000, I posted it in the group. After that, what we saw was this lovely bullish reaction. Swing failure pattern of the low onto $19,000 support zone with a very nice bullish reaction into the daily NPOC that we had at 18,975. Remember NPOCs because they're very powerful right now. NPOC, very powerful right now. That's going to come into play in a second and once more. But overall, we had the low of the channel, bullish reaction off $19,000, NPOC hit, three drives, and a very large bounce to the upside. Why was this bounce so large to the upside on Bitcoin? Well, if you paid attention to the ES, you would have known simultaneously the ES was also bouncing off the value area low retest and the CC retest, Fibonacci taken from low to high. Top of the CC into the value area low there on the 17th of October, at, uh, you know, around 1 a.m. UK time. Well, that bounce obviously was very strong in the end. That bounce, very strong overnight. You can see the perfect retest with a large bounce. And that, of course, was helping to bring up Bitcoin here as well. Brought it up to around 19,600. Of course, we're falling down again today. But, um, you know, that's why we put in this channel. Why was the low put in here? I will explain one more time. Bullish reaction off the $19,000 onto the daily NPC, off the low of the channel, off of the three drives. And then in confluence with the ES, seen a large move to the upside. From here, we've then seen another decrease in price. Okay. And well, we can see we've taken a few lows here. Again, different different exchanges have taken out this low. Okay. Here on Bybit, we've actually put in like a simultaneous low. But if you look at the tether pair, it's different. But we've basically come down to this low. Okay. From around the 16th of October. And, you know, we've swing forward pattern on some exchanges and we've got a bounce. But the number one reason here, in my opinion, why this low was put in where it was put in is because we actually had the N lower NPOC here. As I said, the NPOCs are very powerful right now. So once again, yesterday, yesterday morning, I told my team, these are the two NPOCs on the daily that I'm looking at, okay? And you can see that lower one comes in there around $19,100, the lower NPOC. Well, what happened today? Well, we're literally talking about not that long ago now, but we hit that lower NPOC down there at around 19,100. So we hit that lower daily NPOC, and this is the reaction that we're getting from this. Yeah, very, you know, large bounce currently to the upside. And I even told somebody over in the questions channel, um, you know, we had a lot of shorts, as you can see here. You had some shorts, not a lot, but you had shorts opening at the low, right? You had shorts opening at the low, and then you had the buying balances out of this. So this is definitely an acceptable long entry right why because you've hit your level of support you've got the reaction off of that you've got some trap shorts at the low with buying balances out of it this is a perfectly acceptable scalp long trade setup okay and well you, you can see the reaction in front of your eyes from that we have got a you know very very large bounce to the upside well, simultaneously with the es bouncing right so the es is also bouncing and the dxy is currently you know range bound ultimately but the D the es getting its bounce underway Bitcoin getting its bounce underway from a level that I think you can all agree when you look at here, it was a level we were ready and waiting for. Okay, We knew about this level in advance. It was hit. 
and then the reaction is very large. You also have some trap shorts down there for a little bit of our order flow advantage. Well, so now I'm going to be explaining what I'm looking for next over the next few days. So for me, the for here is is clearly support okay, and this is of, of course it can be viewed as a zone but this is our clear support zone oh sorry did not try and do that this is clearly our support zone right uh the daily not quite hit yet so this is uh something to be aware of down to still nineteen thousand dollars okay well just below it of course we, we i wouldn't be saying oh is that dollar nineteen thousand dollars but you know we can get this retest that could bring us down to around eighteen thousand nine hundred and sixty ish sort of dollars yeah um so th this this is obviously our old channel where we had resistance Resistance, 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 breakout, back testers support, another subsequent move to the upside. So this channel I always like to keep on. Once I've had a well respected channel, I personally like to keep it on and in play. So this is still our might still be my support. Again, if we lose this zone and we get acceptance back into the channel, for me that is much bearish. And we would look for a larger move to the downside, right? But for now, this is clearly our next level of support, this daily to the bat test of our channel again if we get acceptance inside it's much more bearish but until proven otherwise this is support okay and then for the upside i'm really looking at these series of highs slash the sr flip okay it's going to be coming in around that sort of cc okay so we see from here to high down to the low okay so we have the series of highs the cc and also we're looking at the point of control Okay, so we have this like zone of resistance and above us. Well, you can look at the value area low as well, low, very locally. Yeah, that's 19,300. So we're basically coming into the value area low retest now. So for me, yeah, it is an important level, to be fair. Do we get a rejection? Well, if so, we can look for a back test and move down. Or if we get acceptance, then yeah, I'll be looking back up to this CC. Um, so for me, that, that, that would be the next form of decision making. What happens at that value area low at 19,300 acceptance? We can look back up to the CCPOC up here. If we get the rejection, then we can be looking for a back test, maybe put in a back test of this CC or back down to the daily. For me, this is how we teach at Chart Champions. This is what we do every step of the way. We do our technical analysis, we mark out our levels, and then we trade the reaction. Okay. So for example, this was our daily NPOC. Okay, I'll just mark this out very clearly. This is our daily NPOC at 19.100. Okay, so this was the daily NPOC that we had marked out from yesterday. This is what you call a bullish reaction, right? Wick onto the level, trap shorts at the low in terms of the order flow, buying balances out of it. Well, this bounce has been very nice indeed. Okay, now we're coming into the value area low. We very, very, very much closely touched it. Now we look for, do we see acceptance or do we see a rejection? If we see the rejection, we can look for the pullback here. So yeah, basically that's the way we do our analysis at Chart Champions. We mark out our technical analysis and then we look at the reaction. E.g. look at the order flow and make some informed decisions. Okay, and now I want to just briefly talk about that. Then again, what I'm looking for next in terms of the resistance. I'll just give a very quick announcement. That was today. Igor, of course, has done his live trading streams. So if you're interested in watching live trading, that's the new, you know, the new thing that we've got going on right now. And that was uh, today. So if you want to see that, so much golden nugget information, so much education given in this. It's crazy, just the education, the thought process, the entries, the take profits, the stop losses. I saw people saying that they they paid for their month plus more membership off of watching this video and you know following along. It was it was crazy. People have loved this series, and I understand why. It's it's. Um, so much alpha so much you're never going to see this anywhere else it's it's crazy next level so if you're interested in that that's of course at chartchampions.com now we've got the live trading we've got the education in terms of the whole courses from beginners to master level advance that's each of these videos are one hour long we've got the speed runs where each of these one hour long videos are compressed into five minutes you know we've got all the templates these templates take hours and hours and hours and hours to make We've done all of that hard work for you and produced it into our vault where you've got the cheat sheets. You've got the templates for EXO, for Atus. That's the new one that we're using right now. These are all new templates from the last week. So if you want all the new templates, if you want all the new education, if you want the new live trading series, you know where to catch that. It's over at chartchampions.com. And I'm going to end here by explaining one more time. Level to level trading. We know our level of support down here. Okay. We know our local level of resistance, which is the value area low. If we get acceptance, I'm looking up to these highs. Look at this with the VWAP onto around this point of control CC zone. But I'm only looking for there, right? If we get acceptance into the value area low. For me, level to level trading, and you know that's how I'm approaching this in terms of also take profits. 
term. So I've also trading stop losses down and also, well, the biggest one, I suppose, yeah, in, in, in how I'm judging my targets and judging strength and weakness. And so with the reactions along with the order flow, as mentioned before. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do, hit that like button. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've really, you've, you know, opened your eyes a little bit of a glimpse. I know the main stuff is over on the website, but this is a bit of a glimpse into what we do. If you want to see more of that, you know what to do. Head over to chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you've really enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, that's going to be me signing out here. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And um, I'll end with the, the disclaimer, I suppose, that there's no financial advice in this video. This is just an entertainment, educational video only. So um, yeah, everything is on a paper demo trade account. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.